Hello there everyone and welcome to Race Room Racing Experience. Uh, I'll be honest, I haven't really played this for a while, um, only because I didn't have the wheel at the time, but we're actually going to do a little bit of proper sim racing this time. So I've got the AI set to 95%, we're at a racetrack, one of the free ones, and the car we're using, which I will show you here, is the Canhard uh, R52 at the Portimao Circuit Grand Prix layout, so we're going to hit start race, uh, that's our one there, and here we go. Ready, and go. Oh, oh. Okay, we're already getting in alive. Ah! <laughs> okay, oi, get off me car, will ya? Oh, damn it. It's always when we're at the back, it goes mad. Let's let the field spread out a little bit more. Dive on the inside. Don't hit anything. Apart from you, guide me around the track. That's it. Nicely done. Now, in case you're wondering, we're using the T300 RS. We're not using the H pattern. Uh, we've set the physics to amateur because I cannot drive without traction control or ABS. And this is my first proper crack at... Ah, that went wrong. First proper crack at sim racing. Where I've actually got properly difficult AI, AI for once. So break a little bit. That's good through there. I like that. Where are we at the moment? 12th. Oh god. Oh no you don't. Ah, I shouldn't have changed up. Went around a bit wide there. Now, in case you are wondering, yes, this is the just the free content that come with the race room experience. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm really am considering putting money into this game and getting some more content. Oh, on the outside, nearly got him. Ah, try to take him, but decided not to play it safe. Ah, bit of bumper grind. Oh, let's see if we can get in a slipstream. Or not. <laughs> there he goes. Ah, I've been passed! <laughs> now, the usual die-hard sim racing fan will mock my driving skills, as I know they are hopeless. <laughs> That's better. I'm always breaking really late there. They're breaking really early. Maybe if I did some online racing, perhaps it might make things a little better, I suppose, but I can only make do with what I've got at the moment. 
But, yeah, who knows? Someday I might put money into this. Break more, break more. Ah! happened there? <laughs> I really got taken out. Thank God I've got damage off. Now if there's one thing that um, Race Room and in fact um, I think I'll factor two as well. They've taught me something. It's how to learn a track. Look at and it's look around the look at my surroundings of the area learn or sort of learn where the breaking points are just by looking at landmarks and also in a way using the AI to my advantage as well <sighs> because they seem to break at certain points Why do they break so hard there, yet I don't have to? It's weird. Break a little bit there. That's better. I will also say, with this particular track, I've learned different braking zones and different ways to learn each section. Should really be second for that one. My bad. There we go, that's good. Oh, for instance, this wide corner here used to change up to fifth and lift off really, lift off quite a bit. Now I just stay in fourth but lift off just a touch and I do go through a little bit faster. And even coming to this first corner here, I'd break just as I hit the crest. As much as I possibly can, and then I can turn in a little bit easier there. Gotta to learn to break a little bit more there, but hopefully not too much. I mean, even this section coming up here, I used to break quite a lot, go into third, and then go on quite slowly. But now, as you saw there, I stayed in. Whoa, I nearly lost it. I stayed in fourth, break just a tiny bit, but it was enough to get through that segment. I know I'm doing poorly, but I will say this. I'm I'm genuinely having an absolute blast doing this race. I never thought I'd say that with sim racing. Because normally when I do any form of racing game, I just put the racing line on and follow that. And usually that doesn't really help. But now... I know I'm doing really poor, but I don't care. I love this. <laughs> Maybe I should change down to first for that bit. Maybe. I'll try it on the next lap. I've no idea how much time I've got left, but... Or where I am in terms of the actual race position at the moment. It's 
actually making my back sweat. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Ran quite wide there. Break a touch. Floor it now. I think there's one free car in this. I can't remember the name of it. It's the one that's kind of like a Le Mans car, but not a Le Mans car, and it has a V8 engine and it's rear-wheel drive. I can't drive that car at all. But all the others, including that LMP1 car that's in here, they're easy. Brake more. Oh, got the backside of him. Ah, Mr. Rev there. Try first. So far, I will say this. I'm convinced with Race Room Racing Experience. I think it looks great. It sounds great. In fact, I will say this. Despite my crap driving, <laughs> I'm loving this. Wait more. Let's see if I can keep up with him. Ah, don't hit those blue bits of that one. Ah, no, get off me. Don't you dare try and pass me. He's so close. <laughs> Even though the AI, as I said, is set to 95%, they're giving me a challenge. <laughs> I'm in 15th now. Considering that I started in 6th. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'm loving this. Don't lose it. Ah, off track. Didn't get a penalty for that, that's fine. So maybe that hairpin's the only one that I can use for first gear there. Oh, the revs. That rear end trying to fight grip. Yeah, as I said, don't hit those blue bits. They will cause your car to take off. That's it, keep that going. Perfect. Not quite perfect, but good enough in my eyes. That's it. The others seem to be behind, so that's good. A little bit of a cut there. Good. Yeah, this ain't my best race because I've got another guy coming up behind me. Come on. Ah, lots of fun to steer there. Oh god, I'm doing really bad now. <laughs> Yeah, I can see the comment section now of so many hardcore sim fans just mocking me constantly. And I'm just like, meh, I don't really care. I'm just having a blast in this. Ah, no! <laughs> Lost it! Okay, I'm off track. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Oh dear. 
What a way to end. Come on, let's see if we can make up a little bit of ground. Redeem myself somehow. How are they so much faster in that section? I don't get it. So where am I now? Come on, give me the give me the news. Nineteen. Yeah. Because I'm a boss. <laughs> That's pretty good. Staying third for that bit. That might help. That okay, that doesn't. Come on, defend, defend that line. A lot of people say you blocked, you blocked, I don't care. Oh, break more there! That's it. Those wondering, the pedals are T3PA Pros with the conical rubber brake mod. And they really do, they actually do help the braking somewhat. It actually makes me press the brake pedal more. Ah, oh, break too late there. Understood wildly. So I think in terms of packs that I'm interested in with this one, I like the um, ADAC Masters, DTM, both of them. Uh, the touring cars, yep. Group 5, definitely. Because I recently introduced um, Group 5 touring cars in project cars and they are brilliant fun to drive especially if you just use the manual gearbox ah there we go race over yeah probably not my best performance but meh I don't care <laughs> that was brilliant fun yep you know what I'm convinced I do I do like this a lot now, I didn't care where I came in that race. I had an absolute blast playing it. I think I enjoyed that. So, um, if you think I should actually put money into this, then, yeah, let me know. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed my crap driving, like always. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, rate, share, comment on all the usual stuff that YouTube does nowadays. And if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.